Look at that. What is that? I just pulled Dig Dug into my shop because today I'm gonna to be building rock sliders for this truck. That is the next thing it needs to reach its off-road potential. The rock sliders on this truck are not gonna be bolt-on. They are gonna be steel tubing built right into the body that reinforce this whole lower hedge. That way when I'm crashing into the rocks, I'll still be able to open and close my doors when I'm all done. I'm gonna be using this heavy wall 316 steel rectangular tube. If you're into decimals, that's 0.1875. It's not really that precise, it's just steel tube. I found this steel cheap on Facebook Marketplace. A guy was selling a whole bunch of four foot pieces and I picked up some, so that's what I'm gonna use. Because these rock sliders are gonna be built right into the body, there is a bunch of cutting and chopping to do, so I'm gonna mark it out right now and get to work. Okay, I've got my cut lines all marked out here so I know where to do my chopping. I'm going to weld the rock slider, that tube, into the body here. So it'll be permanently attached here, but the fender needs to stay removable. So I'm just gonna cut a line here and the rock slider will sit right below that. This fender's trashed anyway, it's all rusted out. I will replace it someday in the future. A little compost pile going on. There was a lot of rust in there, but I'm starting to get down to some solid steel, which is good because that's what I can weld to to make this really strong. There's a little bit more rust to chip away at here, but I've got a nice straight line across the front. I'm gonna be able to weld that whole thing in, and then I can weld on the backside, then reinforce this back to the frame, and it'll be rock solid when I'm all done. I'm gonna stop right here and head over to Holly's shop for the afternoon. I think all of the PSC steering parts have come in, so I'm gonna go over there and help her out with a giveaway Jeep. I'll take you along with me. Are you sleeping? I wish, Tom. <laughs> Today we are going to attempt again to put the <laughs> steering system, the PSC steering system, in the giveaway Jeep. We're not gonna attempt, we're going to do it. We're doing it this time, mm -hmm. it's gonna be awesome. PSC makes incredible stuff, that's what I put in the Sasquatch Jeep, that 79 Wagoneer. We're gonna do something similar in this. The system's a little different, some electric power steering stuff, but we'll figure it out. It's out of the way. You put some new stuff in here, this is cool. I did, so everything is painted, the hoops went in. Uh, more stuff came out of here and then we put the brackets on the rear for the control arms, the suspension, that went in which was super fun to do. Oh yeah, it looks yeah. good. Looks really good. Can't wait to get the control arms on in there. And then I've been working on the rear axle, which is almost done. I just have to truss it, which I'm almost there with. A little more grinding to do, but that'll be done by the end of today. Holly has been really busy on this. I think she's only got a couple more weeks and then this thing's gonna be finished and she's on to the next project. Very soon, sooner than you think. Put a few scratches in it before you give it away? No. Now we need a little, little thing. What size? Uh, I think three eighths. You keep standard in me. I don't know how I feel about this. All the nuts are standard. Oh no. Thank you. Oh, perfect fit. 
Amazing. I feel like everything should be a self-tapping screw. I know, isn't that nice? Yeah, way easier. For the Rock cooler. For the cooler. 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 All right, we've been working on this for a couple of hours. We've got all the pieces installed. We've got all the hoses installed. Yep. We don't have the ram done, but that's because the axle's not in. So yep. another day. Another, an I'm gonna steal you for another day. I get to come work on this Lucky. one more time. <laughs> Head on over to treadlightly.org. There are three ways that you can enter to win this vehicle. One is buying a t-shirt or a hoodie. You'll get entries with that. You can make a donation for as little as $5 or even better, become a member of Tread Lightly. Awesome, check it out. I am back out here working in my shop today and I'm gonna get right to work on the rock slider again. There is more rust that needs to be cut out of this. So I'm gonna keep doing that till I get down to bare steel. And then I'm gonna clean up this body line so it's nice and straight and my rock slider will fit up there good and tight. Check out what's hiding back in here. Big wasp nest. I don't really know the difference between a wasp and a yellow jacket and a hornet, but there's a big nest back in there and I don't like any of them. So that's coming out. Okay, I've got the worst of the rust all trimmed out of here, but now I've got to straighten up this line all along here. Check this out over here. I have no idea where that came from. And it's gonna go somewhere in here. I got a little more cutting to do before it's gonna come all the way. But I want it to stick out about an inch and tuck back in. I think I need to cut out a little bit of this fender and a little bit of this right here. There we go. I'm gonna try to test fit this again. See if it'll tuck up in there now. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, that's further than I want. I want it to stick out about an inch. So like right in there. So I've got to trim this piece. These I'll have to hammer to fit. Somehow I'm gonna to have to get this to stay up in there so I can tack it all. So I've got a few things to figure out. I'll do that and be right back. So I trim these all back and I trim these and when I get the rock slider right where I want it, I'm gonna hammer all of this stuff over Then I'll have more surface area that I can weld to. Look what I found. Look at that. What is that? Who has enough spare claw hammers to even make something like that? There's only one guy. So the other day Matt stops in, he's like, hey Tom, I just wanted to check on you, see what's going on. I thought it was a friendly visit. I also found this. What would you do with that? I might stop in and check on them. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I am almost ready to put this rock slider up in there and tack it in, but as soon as I do that, there's a bunch of seams in there I'll never be able to get to again. So I'm gonna paint them really quick with POR15 and then I can weld this thing in and I will feel better.
There's a seam up in here that I really want to seal because these seams are where the rust really takes off. So I'm gonna fill it in with this and then we'll weld it closed forever. Oh man, I'm making a mess. If you get this stuff on you, you're gonna wear it for like a month. It just does not come off. That's why I got the gloves. All right, while that paint is drying, I'm gonna get in here and make a bunch of measurements. I'm gonna figure out how long the rock slider needs to be, what angle I wanna cut it at. I'll probably need to go splice two pieces together. So I'll go do all that. And then when it's built, we can test fit it up in here. I think I want the rock slider to run long back here. And then I'm gonna fill this in with some kind of panel. Someday I might build a toolbox back here or something to make this space more usable. But right now, I just don't want it to be open. So maybe like a piece of diamond plate or something. So each one of my rock sliders is going to have one splice in it. So I'm gonna grind and prep that joint so that I get full penetration when I'm welding and these are super strong. I'll also weld on the end caps. That was fun. Welding on the big stuff is always my favorite part. So I've got one rock slider fully built. I'm ready now to bring the truck down and use the lift to fit that up in there so I can tack it in place. I'm really liking the way this looks. I want this to stick out about one inch from the cab. My truck is a full width truck. It's really wide. So I don't want big rock sliders that are gonna hang out here. I'm not gonna run a big tube out and around. I need to keep this truck as narrow as I can because it's already pretty wide. I'll do a little measuring and play around with it, but that's about where it's gonna end up. I'm almost ready to tack it in place. Down on this end, I've got it sticking out back here a ways, and that's intentional, like I was saying earlier. I'm gonna build some kind of panel to fill this in. Maybe in the future, I'll build a toolbox in there, but I want this to run all the way back so that I don't get rocks up in this area. I just slide across. I stayed up way too late last night trying to figure out a bunch of stuff. I've got to figure out how to trim my fenders and how that's going to affect the rock sliders. I'm trying to figure out how the bed is going to get reshaped and how that affects the rock sliders and then the rock sliders affect the roll cage. So I've been drawing pictures and looking at stuff and trying to figure things out. And I got something really cool to show you, something that just came in that's really gonna help me visualize all of this. Check these out. These are a new set of 40 inch Mickey Thompson tires. So I'm gonna be going up from 38s to 40s. I love the look of these things. I'm really excited to get them on. Let me roll them over and show you how they're gonna look in the wheel wells. All right, check that out. These things are huge. I know 38 to 40 doesn't seem like a big jump, but it is. They're massive and it's gonna be great. I know these will squat a little bit lower when I get some weight on them, so they won't be quite this much taller, but I do have some clearancing to do. So I've already reshaped these fenders to fit the 38s and I'm gonna have to do it even more, which means that rock slider needs to go a little bit further back I've got to do something on the front end here too. 
to make that fit. So there's a little bit more work to do in this fender well. That's for another day. I just had to figure out where the rock slider needed to end up. All right, there's similar issues on the back side here. I have a lot of leeway to cut these open because I made the bed so I can rebuild the bed however I want. I just really like the look of it and I don't want to change the aesthetic, but I do need to open it up for a bigger tire. I originally made this wheel well for a 35 inch tire. Right now I'm on a 38. There's no way this 40 is gonna fit in there. So it's gotta get opened up and I wanna open it up enough that I have good wheel travel up and down, but not so much that it looks ugly. So I'm trying to find the balance. I think this tape line is about where I will end up. I'm really excited about these new tires and I feel like tires are one of the first things you should get when you're starting a new build or like a major upgrade because it really motivates you to get finished so you can get out there and drive them. And tires keep getting better. There's all these cool features built into the tires. You can see on the sidewalls they have uh, this really cool sidewall tread that's different like uh, the pattern repeats like every fourth knob. Uh, it almost reminds me of like a saw blade. They have like triple ground teeth so that each tooth bites a little bit differently. There's siping in the tires, there's stone ejectors, all this cool stuff that's going on in the tread that helps it work better, that makes it quieter. Someday maybe I should do a deep dive video on tires and all the cool technology that's going into them. But I'm really excited to get these. This really helps me figure out how I need to open up the wheel wells and where I need to position the rock sliders, which I'm going to get back to right now. After all of that, I've finally got these rock sliders positioned exactly where I want them. I know they look a little bit too far back, but after I trim this fender up for the bigger tires, they will look perfect. Time to weld these in. Welds like that can be a little tricky because I'm welding this really thick tube to this really thin sheet metal, but that went pretty good. Now it's time to go underneath and get all the backside welded in. So I need to make a little strip of metal down here to tie the body to the rock slider. I need to then uh, clean all this up, get the paint off here, and I should be able to weld it all together. All right, this thing is connected really good now. I've got these huge long welds inside and outside making it nice and solid, but I got a couple of weird spots on both ends that I got to figure out. Right here is one of them. I think I'm just going to chop along this line and clean this angle up a little bit and then weld all of this together down here. I've got to figure out on this end how to connect this over to here, fill all of this in, maybe even plug these holes so I don't get more wasp nests up in there.
All right, that was the last piece to get this side all put together. It's looking really good. I'm gonna go check out the other side and see what it's gonna take to do the exact same thing over there. All right, you'll remember I started on that side because I was gonna throw away that fender. This one I'm trying to keep. I know it looks a little ugly, but I think I can clean it up. It doesn't have any serious cancerous rust. Right here you can see there's already been a few dings and hits on this side. I think I remember when that happened. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, 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 okay. Come on down, big boy. Anyway, there's a few hits along here, so these rock sliders are due. So you can see this fuel tank is gonna be on the way on this side, so I've gotta get that out of here so I can see what I'm dealing with. And as soon as that's out of here, this thing's disabled. So that's good motivation to get this job done and get it back up and running again. Also, I've got that other fuel tank that I've been building, so it's time to finish that up and get that installed in the bed. I think the easiest way to get this fuel tank out of here is gonna be lower the truck to the ground and then use the arms of the lift to catch the tank while I undo all the bolts on the inside of the frame. Okay, the fuel tank is out. I'm gonna put this thing on the lift now, get it up in the air, and see what we're dealing with on this side. This side is looking a lot better than the other side. There's a couple of bad spots, but in general, it is much cleaner, not near as much rust. I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing over here that I did over there. I'm really happy with how this rock slider is looking. I'm not gonna show you the other side right now. I'll get to that eventually and show it to you someday when it's all done. I'm also going to tie these rock sliders back to the frame so there'll be these welded connections between the two. That means the cab can never be removed again. So as soon as I do that, the frame and the cab are locked together. They become one. They're no more sitting on bushings and bolts. They're just one piece. And that's all right. I'll still be able to take off the fenders. I'll still be able to remove the bed, but the cab will stay connected to the frame forever. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do the roll cage before I do that. So there's a little bit of work when I tie all of those together. One last thing that I'm really excited to show you guys, and that is that we dropped our new logo. This is it, check it out. You might've seen it on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. It's been out there for a couple of days. We've got merch coming out soon. It won't be very long, and I will let you know as soon as that is available. I also wanna thank Brian Christensen. It's actually Angela's cousin. He's sort of a creative guru for branding. He's done stuff like um, Disney video games that your family's probably played, and he's made utility apps that are actually fun to use. I'm gonna leave a link in my description to contact Brian if you're interested in working with him. Thanks, Brian. It's time for me to get back to work on the rock slider over here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out one of these. <laughs>